both of us have now had had a chance to watch every episode of Defenders. So I just wanted just to just to pretty quickly here just go over our thoughts for uh, for Defenders and uh, and just see what you know what we thought about the series as a whole. Um, what uh, jump but jumping into it though, like what is Defenders about? Like Defenders is. You know, we got these four characters, Iron Fist, Daredevil, uh, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage, who have all had their own separate series up until this point, uh, now are coming together to battle, the to, to sort of go against the hand. I guess just overall, just real quick, like, what were your thoughts of Defenders as a whole? Uh, so originally we talked about it and we did. Yeah. We, we actually did shoot a review for defenders, but you actually hadn't watched all I hadn't, of it. You I hadn't, hadn't finished, watched all, I'd of, seen three episodes. all of it yet. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was kind of unfair to, no, I, I, I was plus that we just sort of like r- rambled on for a half an hour. <laughs> and, uh, so it just really was not usable. So I thought maybe a more concise review here might be, might be better suited. I, I really liked it. I really did. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm biased just because uh, Matt Murdock, Daredevil, was in it um, because I feel like he's kind of carried the Marvel uh, Netflix universe. Um, I thought if you could have taken Finn Jones out of it as Danny Rand or Iron Fist because he announces himself as Iron Fist and every time you meet somebody. I'm the immortal it, Iron Fist. And it was just like, it was comical at the end. Like, it really was. Like, yeah. he'd always do that. But I thought Luke Cage was fantastic. I thought Daredevil was fantastic. Um, Jessica Jones was okay. Yeah. I was, um, I was. Jessica Jones was just okay. She doesn't really get much time to really shine. She doesn't. Sh- to do her own thing. She does her detective stuff, which, I mean, which she, is does, cool. she yeah. does a good job with that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess they wanted to make... Iron Fist, I guess, a lead in this because he's kind of the one that got ended up getting everyone together. Well, um, yeah, Stick is sort of like yeah. a de facto defender as well in this show. Yeah, I love Stick. For, for a little while. Yeah, for yeah. like five episodes. Um, Stick's my favorite character in, in like, I think in the Netflix war universe. Just, I don't mean to cut you up, but what I was going to say is like, so we'll just talk about just sort of generally, okay. uh, like spoiler free, and then we'll go into spoil. Then we'll do about half Spoiler free, half spoilers. So just just keep that in mind. Um, but no, it was it was entertaining. There were some, I wouldn't say slow, but some areas in it where I was like, okay, like it did take three episodes for them to get together. Yeah, which I was just like, okay, like come on, like because you see each person, which was nice to see everybody again and kind of see what their lives are like um, after each season. And um, but i I like the way luke cage was shot and we talked about that before like it would have been great if it was only eight episodes instead of the 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 original 12 the the, the luke cage series Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i agree Um, with that i think every i think every series should be eight 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 episodes daredevil season two was worth the 12 to for me because we got punisher in there we got Electra in there well i think going i think punisher which i'm pretty sure is supposed to be the next series that comes out i think it's like 13 episodes so they're going right back to that formula well i mean yeah. Fans love that. So yeah. Um, Let me ask you something, Rick. Yeah, <laughs> John Berthal. But no, it was. I enjoyed it. Um, it was kind of misleading in the previews of like who the villain was going to be. Um, yeah, a little bit. Um, but the main thing is, you know, our four defenders um, and Stick are over fighting the hand and basically trying to dismantle them. And because they they've caused so many problems, and they they hinted the hand in Daredevil. Um, and then in Iron Fist, those are the only two that have actually said like the hand. The other ones had their standalone villains, which was fine. In this um, one, we get the five fingers of the hand. We get yeah, we see all five of them. Yeah. Um, so. My favorite was the thumb. Was that Sigourney <laughs> Weaver's? I don't know. Oh, okay, I thought that would be funny. I thought you'd find that funny. I guess not. <laughs> well, Mark kind of threw everything off this uh, episode. So, thanks, but Mark. N- but no, uh, I gave it. A, I think I'd give it a solid B maybe B minus if we were like grading it. Um, I know for you it was probably a little lower than that. I, I think, I think when we did our review, which is probably not going to see the light of day, I gave, I gave it a C plus. Yeah. Um, I overall just found it sort of dull. I thought uh, Sigourney Weaver as a villain was pretty underutilized. Um, Danny Rand did not do the show any favors. Uh, uh, 
what's his name? Finn Jones. Finn Jones. Okay, Finn Jones. Um, and it's not necessarily that Finn Jones is a bad actor. Uh, he. It's just I don't think they've quite got a grasp on how they want to further explore this Iron Fist character because I think Iron Fist has a certain a certain characterization a certain way about him from the comics i'm not super well versed in iron fist comics so i don't know but i thought it was kind of strange that in this series like iron fist gets his butt kicked by daredevil you know i don't think that should be uh even though i know both of them are uh very well trained uh kung, martial art. kung fu guys whatever yeah. you want to call it uh, martial artist uh <laughs> i that was one thing about the show i thought the fight scenes were fantastic like when when all the defenders were together, like yeah. the there were the some fight times choreo- I was like, eh. I've seen some of the fight choreography from this from the Iron Fist series, and it was like it's awful. Uh, I have not seen Iron Fist like like to be fair, I have not watched any uh, any singular episodes of Iron Fist. So you know, take what I say with a grain of salt. But I've seen some of the fight choreography, and it is bad. And I thought this was this and Defenders was much better. It it it, it was it looked really good, and so um, no, I like. I give it solid B. I, I'll, I'll go B, straight B. It certainly has its strengths. Um, like you, like you mentioned, uh, uh, Luke Cage is a great character. In fact, I think he's my favorite character from the show. Uh, Daredevil coming back, I think, is a great character. Um, and Jessica Jones has her moments, but you know, and it's I hate to put all the blame on the Iron Fist character because there were more problems with it than just Iron Fist, in my opinion. Um, but man, that character is not appealing, <laughs> uh, in the least bit. Um, and overall, like I, I, I just found, I just found a lot of the series to be sort of boring. I just found it dull. And I'm beginning to wonder if that's just me as a movie fan critiquing television. Maybe. Um, because you know, I'm a fan of like Game of Thrones, which is a very cinematic yeah, style it does. It does. show. Uh, it's a very cinematic TV show. Uh, this, on the other hand, like there were parts of of Defenders that reminded me of episodes of like Criminal Minds or like <laughs> or like CSI or something like that. And like I sat there wondering to myself, I was like, you know, like no wonder I'm not having a good time with this. Like I just didn't enjoy it. Like I, maybe I just don't like a lot of that kind of TV. I don't. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, but I found myself struggling to finish the series, which is a shame because I guess I guess now we'll get into sort of uh, spoilers. The, the whole crux of this series is that the Hand are immortal and the way that they stay immortal is they use dragon bone powder. They dig up dragon bones and grind them into powder, which is ultimately how they end up bringing... Uh, Electra back from the dead, which who, who is like the main. I villain. thought Electra was. Pr- I thought Electra was okay. Um, but she didn't have any lines, which I yeah, think she probably helped. She doesn't say much in the show, but she she doesn't like know who she is. Electra uh, Nachos. Not. I thought it was funny. Her, her last name kind of is Nachos. Nachos. Um, yeah. um, um. No, it was that was fine with me. They kept calling her Black Sky, and like that took me a while to kind of correlate the two because like it's a Gurney Weaver's. Um, Alexandra character kept saying black sky, black sky. And I was like, oh, black sky. And then, but then, um, is Electra. And it, it's so funny to me. Daredevil knows who she is. <laughs> Does he smell her? Like, you know, like how, how does that work? Dude, you know, it's the funny, the funniest thing to me is like, whenever you see him, when he's in his outfit, when he's in the Daredevil outfit and he's not wearing the helmet, his hair is sort of like messed up. And he just sort of has this look on his face. Like, like he just like, like he's just discovering something for the first time. He's just like, like I, I he's blind, man. I know he's I know he's supposed to be blind, but go back and watch him when he <laughs> like he has this very particular look on his face. Like he's so inquisitive when he doesn't have the mask on. It's pretty funny. Um, but uh, I thought overall the show parts of it don't really make sense. I thought. I don't really like the hand as a villain. I I very much would prefer Kingpin or even the Purple Man, going back to Jessica Jones, or even a totally new villain. I don't like the hand. Uh, uh, 
I don't I don't know what else to say. I thought uh, going into spoiler territory, the fact that Sigourney Weaver as a villain just sort of gets taken out by Elektra uh, pretty easily. I thought was a waste of Sigourney Weaver, who is a uh, she's you know she's an extremely talented actress, and I think she could have done more for this series, but she really wasn't given the opportunity to do so. Um, but it's not an awful show. I think I think definitely I think most people will enjoy it. I think I just I think. I had just little nitpicky problems with it that sort of just turned into bigger problems the more I watched it. I do think this show excels being only eight episodes. I think if this was any more than eight episodes, I really would have disliked it. If it had been like 12 <laughs> episodes, God, I would have. I don't even know if I would have finished it, to be honest with you. Um, but I do like I like the four of them when they're together. Yeah, I think when the four of them are together, that's when they really excel. Like I mentioned this before, I think uh, when the four of them are together, they sort of like promote each other's strengths and then sort of like cover up each other's weaknesses. Like you got Jessica Jones like cutting all sort types of jokes about Iron Fist and like Daredevil's outfit and um, you know all that kind of stuff. I thought it was funny that Daredevil's the only one that you get to see an outf- you know you get to see in an outfit. Well, he's a public he's in the public eye. That's his whole Yeah. That's another thing shit. too. A lot of people are upset that like we haven't gotten like official costumes yet of these characters. Like uh, like especially with Iron Fist like uh, you know the green and yellow. Yeah, like I think there is something at the end where um you get to see Iron Fist in sort of like a track suit like sort of something that looks like a green track suit. And um, a lot of people are thinking like, that's going to be his costume. Now this is green and yellow track suit. Well, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, there is one thing that I actually really, really liked. And I mentioned this uh, before is the first like three episodes or show or, or so when you get each character still sort of on their own, in their individual sort of lives or whatever, uh, each each scene with an individual character is given a very specific sort of color palette. Yeah. So every uh, shot of I, I made sure to like watch that. Yeah. When I was watching, it was goes like, oh, away okay. once uh, all, they meet once together. they all to, yeah. once they're all together. In fact, like the culmination of it is in that is at the Chinese restaurant when they're all sitting around the table and behind them is each of their sort of respective colors. Uh, Daredevil is red. Uh, Jessica Jones is blue, uh, Luke Cage is yellow, and green, uh, Iron Fist is green, mm-hmm. uh, which I thought was like, that's a really cool, like, uh, you know, this is just sort of like... Just a visual. Just a, yeah, just sort of a neat visual thing, but I thought it was a really cool direct uh, a director's choice to... You know, when they're on their own, they're sort of in their own they're in their own world, which is sort of like for Daredevil, it's in sort of like a red filter, you know, almost to say. And then for Iron Fist, it's green and so on and so on. But then once they come together, you, you don't get you don't get really any of that. But I thought that was a cool uh, sort of visual choice in the first few episodes. That was something that I I really latched onto, and I found myself you know, excited to, to watch parts of the episodes. Let's just see, like I'd see blue and I'm like, Oh, it's Jessica Jones scene like coming up, mm. you know, that was cool. I really enjoyed that a lot. So, um, so what was your score again? A B B and I said a C plus. So, um, this doesn't in any way hinder my excitement for Punisher and for Luke Cage and anything like that. But I do think, I think they've got something with these four characters when they're together. And I think if they do a Defenders 2, you know, a second series of Defenders, I think, um, you know, fingers crossed they can sort of take the the sort of the negative and, and uh, you know, not so positive reaction. Learn, learn from their mistakes. Yeah, I think, I think that's one thing that the Marvel series have been pretty good at is sort of, uh, you know, they have had a few missteps, and I think they're learning from their mistakes. And What would you say is the biggest misstep? Ultron? Oh, I'm talking about just the Netflix shows. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about like Marvel in general. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just talking I th- I think just just the Netflix side of things, just the TV side of things. Like the Agents of Shield and Inhumans, that's a totally different. See, that's a totally I'm different. About, thing. I I love Agents of Shield. So And you're we're going to you were going to check out Inhumans, aren't you? Oh yeah. I'm going to check out Inhumans too. I'm going to give it I'm going to give it at least one episode, see what I think. Um I don't have high hopes for it though, to be honest. <laughs> Um, I plan on staring at Medusa's hair the whole time. Yeah, I plan on just waiting for that uh, uh, CGI bulldog. Dude, you're going to love Lockjaw. Lockjaw. He's going to be your favorite character. I already know. Oh, like, I already know. Is he in that game that you play? Is he? No, in- he's not. 
How do you know about him? Bro, oh, I know some things. Oh, okay. You know some things. Anyways, yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you guys uh, haven't checked out Defender so far, um, yeah, give it, a sh- give it a shot and let us know in the comments below what you guys thought about Defenders. Do you guys agree with me and think maybe I was a little bit, you know, sort of lackluster? Or do you think I'm crazy and think that it was like the greatest thing that has ever been put on Netflix? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I am far. crazy. 